on the set. Now, since next week is spring break, we obviously won't be in contact until you get back, but I've arranged for a guest speaker to come talk with us that first Monday back. He's a well-known filmmaker who recently completed his 48th feature film. Hey, Professor Engler, who is it? Mike. His name is Alan Smithy. I never heard of him. What's he directing? He has dozens of films under his belt, and as an assignment, I want you to research his career. Be prepared to ask him specific questions about films that he's directed. Watch a few of his films and do not show up without having done this. Do you understand? He's very well known in Hollywood, and it was quite a chore to get him to agree to speak with us. His staff is really going the whole nine yards for us. They're preparing a screening of his dailies. Hey, how'd you get him to come here? Well, that's the thing. Unfortunately, he cannot come here. We're all going to have to meet at his studio in Virginia where he's working. Apparently his studio is quite impressive. What I'm handing out is directions to his studio. You'll note that there are directions via subway, bus, or, if you're lucky enough to have a car, by car. Fairfax? Man, this is a hike. So allow ample time to get there. It's the first Monday after the break, and we're meeting at 8 a.m. Oh, that's right in the middle of rush hour. <laughs> Mr. Smithy is putting aside his frantic schedule in order to meet with us, and it would be most embarrassing to me if you all did not arrive punctually. Don't worry, Professor. We'll be there. Yeah. Thanks for getting this guy to come talk to us. I, I won't miss it. With that, don't do anything I wouldn't do. And again, don't show up without researching his films. I'll be checking my email if you have any questions. I'll see you bright and early, Monday after next, 8 a.m. 8 in the morning. I'm going to have to leave by like 6. Yeah, I'll be rough. Hey, Regina. Can I get a ride on Monday? Of course. I'll uh, come by your place at 6. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Have a nice break. Yeah, you too. DC. Today it's a cold one. I think it's cold from where I sit, but it might be warm. The day looks to start out sunny, and as the evening approaches, darkness will follow. So, today's that meeting with the big director in Fairfax, right? Why are you bothering me? Actually, I was wondering if you could do me a really huge favor. Someone sent me a package but to my mom's house, and I was wondering if you could pick it up for me on your way there. Th this is not a good time to ask me this. I have to be at this guy's studio at 8 a.m., and my professor made it out to be a really big deal. I know, I know, but it's totally on the way. Can't you get it? Brendan has my car. It'll only take you five minutes to stop and pick it up. I'll call my mom so she'll have it ready when you get there. All right, but this really makes me uncomfortable. Relax, you'll get there in plenty of time. I'll go call her. I owe you one. I-66 backed up, the Beltway backed up. The Metro is reporting delays on both the trains and bus system. Accidents all over the place. If I were you, I'd stay home. In fact, I was told that the air traffic is also so heavy, we have to hover around for the rest of the day, which is okay, because 
I'd like to fly in my helicopter. Are you there? Uh, I see an accident. Three car pile up. Hold, hold, hold my mic. Hold, hold the mic. Oh, I'm gonna lean out to get a closer shot. Hey, if that guy ever calls again, tell him I'm in the can. I can't stand his negativity. Oh, I'm on the air. Well, well coming up later, we have all the songs we've been playing over and over for the last month. Awesome. Still haven't had enough of them. Stick around. Hey, this is Mike. You know what to do. Good morning, Mike. Hi. Pick up your phone. Mike, wake up. Today is the day that we're going to see that big director guy. Remember? I'm giving you a ride. Mike, wake up. Oh, brother. Yeah. Here are the directions to my mom's house. It's right off I-66, a right and a quick left. You can't miss it. If you make me late, You're I... leaving now, right? Right. So you'll get there in plenty of time. Oh, just in case you can't get in, the front door code is 56991. What? Just in case you can't get in, 56991. Here, write it down. I think I've got a pen. No. Forget it. I'll remember. 56991. Yeah, okay, it's easy. 56991. Thank you so much. I owe you one. I love you. Hey, this is Mike. You know what to do. Mike, I'm a block away from your house. Get up. Mike. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit. Tom, man, I'm running late. I was gonna take the bus to the metro, but now I don't have time to take the bus. Could you pick me up at the Vienna station at the end of the line? Um, yeah, um, say around 7.45. Great, I should be there by then. Thanks, man, I gotta fly. Okay.
do that. Um, actually, I'm kind of in a hurry. I just stopped to help a friend who's obviously not here now. Um, I knew the spot was illegal, but I just wanted to help a friend. Uh-huh, and get a nice cup of coffee. Have a nice day, ma'am. Thank you! Totally awesome adventures of oh, yeah. Super Dude. Kitty, no! Somebody take him. No, Jennifer. No, no, I don't have time to take your package. I am going to be late for class. Stop you getting off. Um, your last stop. Why? Just thinking maybe uh, we could trade seats if you're getting off before I am. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna be reading this book here, and uh, I don't want to be disturbed with you crawling all over me and everything, you know. So uh, you get off first. We say we trade seats. I'm gonna get off at the last stop. Read this book here then. Jake and Jack! Cut us out! I'm sorry. Jake and Jack! I don't understand what you're saying. He has caught us. He has caught us. To Jake and Jack! I don't know. 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 Secluded road, the two bad guys make away with Mr. Puppy Cheeks. 
Uh, so what do you think the boss wants with the kitty cat? The boss has his reasons. All we's gotta do is deliver the goods, capiche? Uh, yeah, yeah, I capiche. Thank your mom for buying Balbuster breakfast Thanks, cereal. Mom. The cereal to help keep kids regular. <sighs> Warning, Balbuster cereal may cause heartburn, pain, or hearing stuff. Dragon Fruit Balbuster temperance, dysentery, and irritable bowel syndrome. Do not eat with beer. Six 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 is a trademark of Bal Brothers Incorporated. And no six 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 I hope you flunk this class. I hope you flunk out of school. I hope I never see you again. To be continued, I have another call. What? Hey, Regina, it's Tom. Tom, where are you? I don't know. I, I kind of got lost because I missed my exit. You missed your exit? How did you do that? I was uh, distracted by this thing. Anyways, that doesn't matter. Um, I'm calling because I was supposed to pick up Greg at the Metro. And, um, since I missed my exit, I'm not going to be able to get there in time, so can you pick him up? We've got 15 minutes to get there. I was supposed to pick up Mike. He wasn't there. I got a parking ticket, and I'm running late, too. Um, so that's a no? Yes! Yes, you will pick him up, or no, you won't? No, I will not pick him up! <sighs> Damn, it's touchy, touchy. I think I'm fucking got a ticket. Sticks up, Spud. Alright. But he's late. What's with the box? Don't ask. Get in. Angelette's gonna lose it if we're late. How was the metro ride? Don't ask. I got distracted by this this thing, man. Don't be like that, baby. Come on, man. Uh, I missed my exit. No, I'm, I'm... Dear student, what's up? Oh, you're kidding. If you were reading this note, you clearly had not done your homework. Oh. For if you had done your homework, you know that Alan Smithy is not a real person. Alan Smithy is named credited as director oh. when the actual director wants his or her name disassociated with the film. No, this is so not cool. I'm gonna sue his ass. You can't sue him. Oh, yeah, just watch me. He has no idea what I'm capable of. Uh, shut up. This would have been so much easier if he had just taught us this lesson during class. You know, I didn't need this. <laughs> no, wait. There's more. So Your diligence going. in traveling to this most inconvenient location at this unpopular time is commendable, but ultimately useless. In the future, I'd advise you to do your research. See you in class on Wednesday. Professor Engwant. Man, I can't believe the links this guy to go through to get his point across. Yeah. Just out on my booty sleep, man. What? Hey, Regina, what up? Mike, where the hell have you been? I was sleeping. Hey, did you get my emails? What email? You know, the, uh, 
the email. There's no Alan Smithy. I know that now. We had to come all the way out here to find out. We? Who went out there? Tom, Greg, Penny, uh, what does it matter? Yeah, no, no, I read there's no Smithy and I emailed you. I emailed the professor too and he wrote back and he was like, I want to find out who went out there. And yeah, I never heard back from you. You think? You think? Oh. You know, Regina, you should be more diligent with your schoolwork. He knew about this? Oh. Yeah, I guess you should also check your email more often too. You wanna, uh, you wanna maybe go to a movie sometime? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Gina? Whoa. 